breaking news on Nine on Your Side. And Ohio State will be stronger having come through this, and we will have learned a lot. And I can promise you, from the president of our university to the people that run security here, they will, they will even up their game beyond what is really just an unbelievable, amazing, and outstanding and heroic performance. 11 students at the Ohio, Uni Ohio State University are hurt. Their attacker is dead, and the hero is from right here in the Tri-State. Good evening, everyone. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. And good evening. I'm Julie O'Neill. Police say Abdul Razak Ali Artan ran over students with a car this morning, then attacked them with a butcher knife. He was shot and killed within minutes by 28-year-old officer named Alan Haruchko. Officer Haruchko grew up in Fairfield. He started working for the Ohio State University Police Department in January of 2015, nearly two years ago now. Investigators say he responded within 60 seconds. His training kicked in and he stopped the threat. Nine on your side anchor Craig McKee is among a team of journalists that we have in Columbus today. He joins us now live with breaking details that we now know. Craig. And Tanya, what I can tell you is information has been streaming in all day long since this attack as investigators discover stuff as nine on your side also discovers stuff. Our I team has been working diligently to, to dig up more information primarily on who this attacker was. And here are some new details that we are just finding out and bringing you right now on nine on your side at seven. Uh, take a look at this photo here with me. The Ohio State University newspaper, The Lantern, says that this is a picture from its files and that this indeed is the suspect, Abdul Razak Ali Artan. And the school says that he is the only student with that name currently enrolled at OSU. By the way, if you do search the student body, his name has already been removed online. In an article last August, though, Artan says that he was studying logistics management. He also spoke about being concerned about praying in public as a Muslim because of public perceptions about his faith. So some new details coming out about the suspect in this case and in this attack. And as you can see behind me, people are walking around, uh, things returning to normal here. 19th, uh, which was actually taped off with police tape, you know, not a half hour ago. That tape is gone. Things are back open. So things are beginning to return to normal here on the campus. Our TJ Parker has been following the developments on the 11 individuals injured in today's attack. He joins us now live with the very latest updates. TJ. And Craig, hospital staff here at Wexter Medical Center are thankful those victims will recover. State officials also thankful to the doctors and first responders for treating those victims today. Six people in total came here to Wexter Medical Center this morning. Uh, doctors told us earlier that two of them came for stab wounds, uh, three for injuries after they were uh, hit by the car. Two other Columbus hospitals took people in as well. Two people went to Riverside, three went to Grant. All of these hospitals are near where this all took place this morning. OSU President Michael Drake said the campus alert system worked the way it was supposed to and saved many lives. The university, city, and hospital also trained for situations like this, and officials say they were prepared. It was uh, good to see that people responded as we wished that they would, and as I said, we're thankful that the uh, injuries were not more severe. I wish uh, this had never happened, but injuries not more severe. Now, there are still victims here at this hospital recovering. Some have been released, but again, the good news in all of this, doctors are telling us that these are non-life-threatening injuries. We're live at Wexter Medical Center. I'm T.J. Parker. Craig, we'll send it back to you. All right, T.J., thank you very much. Definitely a silver lining when you hear that non-life-threatening injuries for the 11 people injured today. So just to recap, 11 people injured, though one does remain in critical condition, we're told. All of these victims, again, either hit by the car or actually uh, attacked or stabbed uh, whenever he, the, uh, the suspect got out of the car and began attacking those people around the area just down the road here again on 19th. And uh, the other thing that we're taking a look at here is that he did act alone. He was a student here at OSU, but one thing is not clear is whether or not this is going to be considered an attack uh, of terror. Um, Obviously, he has a, uh, a Muslim background and uh, from Somalia, and there are a number of ties that investigators are trying to take a look at and to see if there's anything else into this. There's also a Facebook rant uh, that we're going to continue to follow and get more information on. We'll bring that to you tonight on Nine on Your Side. Live in Columbus, Craig McKee. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio.